What's going on YouTube? Welcome in to another beautiful build for you. Today we're finally building an Antex new Flux. You're like, wait a second, since we've seen you built in the Flux here on the channel before. No, this is a new Flux Pro. We've heard a lot of really good things about this. We've already seen some videos coming out from like Gear Seekers and from Steve over at Gamers Nexus saying this potentially could be the case of the year. And we're finally getting our hands on it. This is the brand, brand new Flux and it features some wooden design. We've seen the wood before over on Fractals North, but now we're dealing with it over here on Antec. The thermals of Antec have always been really good and this is apparently it's supposed to be one of the best cases in terms of thermal thermals in terms of case airflow design you name it we're excited to get our hands on it we're starting off with a 14700k which is really a good cpu right now with the 700x3 really being on back order and not available in the, across the market so the 14700k really steps up strong here we're cooling it with the lean lee galahad 2 performance cooler as well and we've got the beautiful z790 um, msi gaming edge ti max that's a mouthful. That's an absolutely beautiful motherboard coming over from MSI. We've got 32 gigs of Team Expert 6400 MHz CL32 RAM, a two terabyte NVMe drive coming from Kingston and the, uh, the KC3000, which is one of our favorite drives here on the channel. And again, we're putting all in the Flux Pro case, which is white today with a nice, beautiful white birch, white birch wooden design. And then we've got the 4070 Ti Super going here in the beautiful Gaming X Slim white version. They're powering all off with the beautiful MSI 850GL, which is coming in as white as well. Absolutely beautiful whiteout system today. Very minimal on the RGB, but looks, the aesthetics are going to be absolutely killer. Let us know you think down below in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well if you want to see more beautiful PCs like this being built over here on our YouTube channel. Remember, if you want to catch us live on a raw like, his, raw like it is right now as we record this and butcher this insanely long intro that Travis has to edit later. Make sure to come over to our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash tins. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right now at 10, 10, 30 a.m. Eastern, and we hope to see you soon. Everything down off the top. I can't wait to build with this card. This is one of my favorite 4070 Ti Supers, if not my favorite card, the Gaming X Trio in white. It looks absolutely killer. The price on it was phenomenal right now. I think that's the 4070 Ti Super pricing is really good. The 4070 Super pricing is really good. Like I said, those are the two cards that I would personally buy if I'm not going like Kingpin 4080 Super. 4090, non-existent because of AI, also non-existent because of the price. I wouldn't even consider a 4090 right now unless you just have unlimited budget and you just want to drop as much coin as you can on the PC. So, top down, let's get started today. There it is, mm-mm-mm, the TI Edge Max. Today's system is gonna be codenamed Birch and it will be going on our quick ships. So this will be a system available for purchase right on 23, I think 23.99, which is an absolutely killer system in terms of gaming, streaming, content creation, even editing. You've got it locked in, 14700K, phenomenal CPU, 4070 Ti, phenomenal GPU, 32 gigs of RAM, two terabyte NVMe drive, phenomenal system, especially with the new, this case, which is actually pretty hard to get right now. Socket looks good on that, 40, on that 790, Edge, T, or Edge Max Ti, MSI really uh, got this one all dialed in on the name. There we go, down and in, socket. Working on our two terabyte NVMe drive next. Our KC3000. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. We've got a couple of systems finally going up on the quick ships. They sell, our quick ships ship so fast we can't keep them in stock. Let's get a RAM in. And then we'll worry about our cooler next, which is our beautiful Trinity 2 performance cooler. Oh, I gotta go with that nice white RAM. The goal will be, I think the goal will be a nice accent. I know there's a lot of silver on this board. I think the goal would be a nice accent with the wood today. So that's what we do with the T-Create. Beautiful RAM from Team Group. Here we go, 6400 megahertz. 32 gigs at CL32 timings, which is perfect for Intel. There we go, all on there. Again, we weren't looking for a really flashy RAM on this one. We want to kind of keep it white and subtle, this white out build. Well, a little bit of RGB, we'll set all the RGB to white. The RGB will be on the cooler and on the GPU. Everything else, I don't even think this board has, it might have a little bit of RGB on the board in some spots, but we'll set all the white, go with a nice white aesthetic. We're on the cooler next before we get the case out, which I'm excited to see. <clears throat> get the cooler standoffs in place. Get everything dialed in on this, on this system here. Let's get everything, all the standoffs in place. Get all our standoffs in place. Good, 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 good. All right, all right. Motherboard's all set. Now it's time to get everything dialed in with the case. Get the case out, get everything in. Let's talk about what we have here really quick before we get started. We have the 14700K down in the socket on the beautiful Z790 Edge Max Ti coming in from MSI, the Z790 board. 4700K in the socket, our standoffs are in place for the Galahad 2 performance cooler today. And then we have our T-Create RAM over here, 6400 megahertz, CL32, 32 gigs, coming from Team T-Create Expert RAM. And we have a two terabyte NVMe driving down our primary NVMe slot one, coming in the KC3000, two terabyte Gen 4 NVMe. This is what we're here for today. It's absolute beauty today. It's like this is already the foam one. This one's a little bit cracked in the front. 
You know, UPS tra transports boxes. I like what I see already. Oh, it's got mesh back on the back, all right. All right, Antec. Oh, you got reverse fans built in too? It is nice. So it's got retaining, uh, a self-retaining screw with a pop on the panel. Really nice, that's nice. A lot of airflow on the back and the bottom. PSU to pull in air, like that. Really good quality on the, on the panels. Like, self-retaining, but also like accessible and quick. Like that a lot. Pass-through grommets, BTF capable. If you see this, this means you can build with a BTF board. MSI, Asus, they have that now. Really like that. Big 140 millimeter fans in the rear, 120 millimeter fans in the front. Beautiful, that, that birch kind of wood design. Feels really good. Feels like a, a, it feels almost like an MDF or something like that for the wood itself, but it looks really good. The front panel is actually really, the texture of it uh, creates the rigidity of the front panel while also retaining a lot of airflow, which I like the mesh there. Um, this is nice. Back cable management, exceptional as Antec has come. Very, very clean. Um, lots of lots of like zip ties and, um, and uh, Velcro for your cable management. Plenty of room over here for cable management as you see here. Initial impressions are pretty high. One fan is interesting. They only give you one uh, uh, like reverse fan on the bottom, but that's gonna help cool that GPU exceptionally well. Let's get our screws, everything here for the motherboard, for the motherboard or for the case right here. So you only get one fan. Which is weird. I would have think you would have had two. Not a big deal. It does come in. Oh, I didn't even see this up here. It comes with a built-in fan hub, <clears throat> which is nice. So all of your five fans that come with this from from Antec, your rear 140, your three for, uh, front 120s, and then your bottom 120 reverse fan that blows on your on your GPU, all go into a five fan hub, which is SATA powered. It has RGB as well. Oh, it's an RGB and a fan hub up here. So if you have RGB, you can run off this as well. I didn't see that. Very nice. White cables, big plus. Rice rubber grommets. Love to see that on cases. On the bottom as well. Also with your BTF connections. So you can, it's, it is ambidextrous with whatever kind of system you're gonna build. Really like that. Plenty of space over here for your power cables. Looks good. I mean, it looks really, really good. Rigidity, st stability of the case, really high. Let me see. Give me the price of this case. I'm impressed by it though. All right, the price of this case is, white is unavailable, so I can't tell you, but the black is $119, which I would like to build in the black. Um, do they give us white zip ties? There's the, the real tried and true question, and they do. Give it a couple of them, not a lot, not a big deal though. All right, let's get this motherboard in. Now we've seen the case, so let's get, let's get, let's go to the top down. Let's get, let's get this motherboard down and in, and we'll go from there. Aesthetically, this is a really, really nice case. Let's see how it builds and we build in it now. Down there we go with this beautiful board. I think this board's gonna match really nicely in this case. I mean, it goes in like perfectly. Really nice. This made it a little hard. This uh, reverse fan already installed makes the, this bottom screw pretty tight to get in. Is purchasing a 7800X3 a bad idea? No, we just, we're on a delay right now. Our, our system's about two to three weeks right now for 7800X3Ds because they are almost non-existent in the channel. And only the people that really have right now are secondary sellers who bought them to scalp them. We're waiting for a huge uh, restock of them to come, uh, hopefully at the end of this week or early next. Um, AMD is saying sometimes that retail could be first before going to distri distribution, but we're waiting on ours to come back because we have a bunch of orders that we need to finish that have them. We have a couple that are going out that we have left. We're trying to get some more in here really soon. All right, be the front close up now. We have this board in installed. It looks absolutely killer. Let's get our Type C in first, and then our USB 3.0 header next. Here we go. 5090 stats sound good. Everything sounds good from a marketing standpoint. It gets, when you get your hands on it, then how do they run? That's the real question. Everything sounds good from a marketing standpoint. They make all these numbers up to 20% better, up to. So we have to listen to these things. We have to take all these things into account, and then we make our, we can have all these initial assumptions that yes, is it gonna be a big upgrade? Sure, but we can't really judge based on performance because we haven't gotten hands on. We can only listen to what the marketing fluff is around these products. Up to is a very blanket statement <clears throat> from a manufacturer to say. Let's work on our front panel connections, our HD audio. I like that I can just go right here. Nice and easy peasy. Fan header, there we go. HD audio, and then we're gonna move on to our power supply. We're just starting to pre-manage the cables in the back. I can see there, now we're gonna move on to the power supply. Let's get our power supply out today, which we have the 850GL today. We have the ATX 3.0, it's 850GL coming in from MSI today. We wanna to keep a white power supply. Go figure going with the MSI GPU, MSI board. Let's go with the MSI power supply to match. There she is. There we go, our 12 volt high power, we'll need that today. We will need a SATA today. It's gonna to power the onboard RGB controller as well as the 
pump coming in from Lee and Lee. Next we'll need our EPS. There's one, 24 pin main. And then our second EPS, right there, here we go. There are our cables we need, all these other cables that you see here. We're gonna put our little pouch. I like that they gave you silver screws with a white power supply, very nice touch. We have some over here, we'll save these. All the cables, only the power cable go into the pouch, into the motherboard box. Here we go, these are all of our cables. We're gonna put our power supply in, go. All right, slide this in, let's get it all screwed in. And we go with 24 pin main, start us off. There we go. Next is gonna be our, our, GP, our GPU cable. The question is, where do we put this up through here? I think it's gonna have to go through the middle over here. It's not a big deal. Have this ready for later. This is our GPU cable, a 12 volt high power cable. There it is. All right, <clears throat> saddle will sit nicely right here. We have to run our cable later for the cooler, as well as plug in our header right there. All right, plug in our EPS next. A 12 volt, or sorry, our EPS, our four plus four EPS. There's one, there we go. Tuck these wires in for our EPS, good. Cable's looking pretty good on the back. Pretty good cable management in this case. We're gonna move on to the cooler. Let's move on to that. Get this box out of the way, we're gonna move the case around. We can start working on this cooler, getting it mounted first, and then we're gonna get it up and in. Because this Galahad Performance 2 cooler is one of the bigger coolers on the 360 millimeter design. We're gonna go top down so we can get the pump mounted. Front face is on. Let's get this pump mounted. There we go. All on with that pump, good there. We're gonna tip this up. There we go. I've just run these cables over before the rat in, just so it's easier to do now. We got our AIO, our SATA, RGB. We'll run all these over and through. There we go, up and in. Get this mounted in, and then we can work, show you a better close up how everything's looking. All right, all four corners are in. Work on these cables really quick. Hook up our RGB. It's gonna go to the hub right here, which is right above. Go, have to hook up our SATA and our USB, which is gonna go run to the Lean Lean software for the pump. Go, there's that. And then here comes our USB. It's gonna go right here. And all we have to do is now put the last of our screws in for the pump and then hook in our GPU chat. Put our top panel back on and let the rads all in. All right, on to the GPU chat. 4070 Ti Super in today's build. Side to the side, let's get ready to put this GPU in. Thick boy, three slaughter though. Three slaughter today. That is an absolutely beautiful 4070 Ti Super though. That's a chungus. That is a chungus. And then this beautiful 47 Ti sweeper. Here we go. Let's get this inserted on this beautiful edge board. It matches so nicely. Here we go, chat ready. Three, two, one. That was a thunk. Wow, it's got really good support too. It's actually tears down, so don't be afraid when you see that shroud. It's just how this card is. Really good support on this case. Really good support on this motherboard too. <clears throat> Last screw in on the top slot. And we're gonna add the power and then we're getting ready to boot up, boot up this PC. Are you guys ready for this? Here we go. Go 12 volt high power. Let's slide some of this cable down below. There we go. You guys are ready to light this up? Not a lot of light on this one, but you ready to boot it up? This is the Birch going on a quick ship site later today. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come on over, hang out, chat it up with us, and watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.